Welcome champions, this is the RPA champion and in today's video we are going to be predicting the stock of IBM. So not just predicting the stock of IBM, in today's video we are going to be learning how to create a machine learning model that is going to predict the stock market price in just under 10 minutes. So it's going to be my mission to make this happen in 10 minutes. So ladies and gentlemen, sit down in your chair, grab a cup of tea and let's make this happen. We are going to be using IBM Watson for this. So let's log into IBM. I have already logged into IBM. Let's go into our services. And if you haven't done so already, create an instance of Watson Studio. It is free for everybody and you can create it very easily just by going to create, searching for it and creating it. Now to save some time, I have already created it and we're going to get started right away. So again, our mission objective today is to uh, predict the stock price, to create an application that we can access via API that we can deploy immediately, a model, a custom model that we are going to train on whatever stock we want. In our case, we are going to choose IBM because we are using the IBM service. But I will see, I will show you how easy it is to create a uh, to create this and use any kind of stock or do whatever you want. So uh, I am going to use a project that I have already created. If you haven't, uh, if you don't have a project, you can go to projects and you can create a project from here. So new project. I will use a project that I have already. Now inside of the project, we are going to add something. So we are going to add to project uh, different components that are going to enrich and enhance our uh, our project, make it easy for us to build this model without being a uh, scientist or a mathematician. So what we are going to do, we are going to be using a prediction model on data that is stock data. So stock data is usually regression data or continuous data. So I will be using this uh, automation AI experiment. So as you can see, it does classification or regression. So let's just click on this and see what happens. Uh, again, I have already created a Watson machine learning uh, service, but again, it is a one, uh, it's a click, click, uh, it's a very easy and straightforward process to create your own. Now let's name our let's name our uh, model that we are building or our experiment. Let's call it uh, stock experiment, and let's not give it a description and let's just create it. Now, right now we are creating an automation, uh, an auto AI experiment that is going to do all of the steps that usually happen in a uh, training, uh, training an algorithm process. So what we are doing is we want to create a model or an algorithm that is going to predict some data. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add some data. I have already downloaded a JSON file with some data and uh, it is the daily prices from IBM. Now I'm going to, uh, I have already uploaded it. I will create a new data set just to show you how it works. So I have uh, already a CSV file with uh, columns such as, we're gonna, we're gonna see the data right now directly. Uh, so another cool feature that you are, you are going to be able to do is you can fine tune a little bit your data already right here immediately in uh, in IBM. So uh, here we see the different data that we have. We have different dates for the price. So we have a timestamp and then we have the open, we have the high, the low, the close and the volume. We have the uh, the different values and the different times. All right, so this is what our data looks like. Perfect. Now that we know what our data looks like, let's decide what do we want to predict. So do we want to predict the open, the high, the low, the close, or the volume? So let's predict the closing, the closing price of the stock. So 
automatically, since this is continuous data on stock data, uh, IBM has identified that it should use a regression algorithm and it should be optimized like this. Now we can further configure this. Now I will not go into this because we are going to do this in just under 10 minutes. But if you wanted to, you could customize the different parameters of the algorithm. Now let's just run the experiment and let's let's have IBM just create everything for us now it's going through different steps of uh, taking the data it's running it through different algorithms it is going to optimize the different algorithms on our data and once all of this is done it is going to suggest to us which would be the best algorithms so right now we are going to have to give it some time and just wait for it to load the data now uh, keep in mind that this is uh, again a uh, very uh, very easy and straightforward process if you think about the complexity of what we are doing uh, IBM Watson has really simplified this and made it uh, made it doable for anybody what we are trying to do is we I have imported data from the stock market I have downloaded data from uh, via an API I have saved this data onto a CSV file the data contains the stock price for the different dates the open the close the high uh, of the stock and what we want to do is predict the closing value now we're gonna predict this based on the different data that we have inside of our sheet so based on the values that we insert we're gonna get a different closing value so perfect now we see that the algorithm is detecting different possibilities that it can be using it has completed already now it has also split the data into training data and into data that is that we are going to be use, using for testing so it, it's really doing all of the different steps that would happen in a machine learning process these steps will be usually done via Python or via code and it would take uh, they would be manual and uh, quite time-consuming now we can see that is uh, the uh, it's slowly optimizing it's testing out the different algorithms which ones would be the best ones and it has identified right now the best algorithm for us to use now it has chosen this linear uh, regression algorithm it has applied some enhancement to it to make it better and we have the ability now to choose whichever algorithm we want so it has built different algorithms now with this algorithm we can either export it and use it however we want or we can deploy it and uh, use it already via api and have an api and already test it and be able to use it so uh, i can uh, I, i'm going to create uh, model I can also uh, import it in notebook and work in it directly I will just do the most easiest things so I will create a model automatically and I will name this uh, stock experiment p7 this name is perfectly fine and let's just create this so what are we doing right now we are saving this model we have saved the model successfully now let's view this model in our project now keep in mind we are eight minutes in we still have one minute and 40 seconds to create our machine learning model and deploy it into the cloud so here we are here we are in our algorithm we have the different columns now let's basically deploy it to a space now i have created already a space so if you don't have a space uh, already created just click on create and it's very straightforward process to create your own space now i am going to deploy this so let's just promote it so what we are doing right now is we are taking our model and we are putting it into a uh, onto a space where we're going to be able to use it now it has successfully been promoted now let's go to our deployment space the deployment space is what we are going what we are using to uh, deploy our model to the cloud and make it available so here it is uh, here we have the one we just created stock experiment now let's click on deploy and let's name this stock app let's call it experiment number two so perfect and let's deploy it online so software okay that's perfect and let's create it
Now, by the time this is created, uh, once it is deployed, uh, we will have a functioning app. Now, 10 minutes have passed. We don't have to do anything else. All we have to do is click on this and wait for it to be deployed into the cloud. So it's going to tell us right here uh, when this is going to happen. It should usually take a couple of seconds or a minute or two. Excellent, it has deployed successfully. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to test our prediction model. Now, this is also a good time to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Now, let's jump back into our app that we have created. Let's click on it, it has been deployed. And right here, we have an endpoint that we can use via API. We have different code snippets that we can use for different languages if we wanted to integrate it inside of our application but no we don't want to do that right now we want to test and predict the ibm stock so here we have the different parameters or the different data values that we can use so we are predicting the uh, closing value so let's say that uh, the volume of the stock would be would be uh, would be this which is 65,000 and the low would be 120 the high would be 123 and the open would be 122 so let's add this to the list and i can also add other values as well and predict other values as well and what i mean by this let's say the stock was this the low was this and high was this and the open was this does this even make sense doesn't matter let's add it to the list and let's see what happens let's run our prediction model and let's try to predict the stock of ibm so here we go ladies and gentlemen we have our predictions so basically for the first prediction if the uh, if these are the different values uh, that we want to input this would be this is based on the data that we have Im imported it is predicting this value and the same for this now here it is predicting actually a drop in a value and quite a significant drop in the value so this is quite a relatively low trading uh, trading number of stocks for IBM so this is quite interesting and ladies and gentlemen I hope you have seen how easy it has been without any knowledge in machine learning or into data science or into analytics we have been able to uh, analyze some data import it inside of IBM do all of that fancy machine learning stuff training and testing and we have created a model deployed this model to the cloud created an endpoint or an api that we could use inside of our application and also be able to test it and predict it so even if we didn't want to create an api or some complex application maybe we just wanted to predict the stock price for game stock for tomorrow Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and that you have learned something. If you would like more content like this, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what you would like to learn about more. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.